and Kevin King to serve the remainder of Andy Copeland's term, as well as uh, Planning Commission uh, Brett Weimer to serve the remainder of uh, Greg Godwin's term, and Jennifer Gilmore to serve the remainder of Raymond Manley's term. Uh, if there's a member of the public that uh, would like to uh, make comment about new business item number two and the appointees, I would ask you to step forward at this time. With no one coming forward, I would entertain a motion for Colleen Words. So moved. Second. A motion, Harrison, second, shoot, that we appoint Colleen Words to the Board of Zoning Appeals. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Wait a second, I do have some oh. discussion item, uh, or question, I guess. Uh, and, it, and I guess it, re it really applies to all the candidates here. What, what mechanism do we have to get these up, people up to speed on training for this job? Because, I mean, it doesn't appear like there's a lot of experience in anything like this. And it's scary to think that people are going to be making big decisions on land use type issues without any training. So how quickly can we get them trained? I guess, I guess, and I'm asking that question because I may not vote for any of them if I don't get some assurances that they get trained quickly. The first training session will be at the September Planning Commission meeting and part two of that training session is going to occur in October at the Planning Commission meeting as well. And the BZA members will be invited to attend the Planning Commission meeting for training. And, and the training is put on by staff. staff? Right. What about, are there other opportunities beyond that? I mean, League of Kansas Municipalities, do they do training on this? Or is there other, Probably other uh, trade groups or? The planning group, planning association would probably be the more focused training for this group if we'd like to have them do that. I think it's a must. I mean, I, I don't, maybe, I mean, you know more about that than anybody. Is, mm -hmm. is, is it good training? Is it uh, something they could use or are, we, are they getting the same thing here? Well, the, the, probably the, there is a planning commissioner's component at the planning conference, but that's not until April. We will have conducted quite a bit of training before that time frame. Okay. Yeah, and the, the training that's going to, to happen this month and next month is meant to be introductory training. Uh, all of the planning commissioners uh, have been supplied with uh, with the uh, reference Scott. material uh, that they hadn't had previously. Uh, and even though there's going to be introductory training, there's going to be ongoing training because everyone that's involved in the process realizes that uh, that we have a a, a lack of experience uh, mm -hmm. on the commission at this time but we've got solid appointees that show a, a, a level of intellectual curiosity uh, that I think will be very helpful in their role okay so there's a, a motion there's some second shoot uh, that we appoint Colleen Words to serve the remainder of Tory Roberts' term on the Board of Zoning Appeals. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. I see Colleen back there. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, I'd entertain a motion um, regarding Kevin King and the Board of Zoning Appeals. So moved. Second. Motion Harrison, second Freeman, that we <coughs> appoint Kevin King to serve the remainder of Andy Copeland's term on the Board of Zoning Appeals. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. Kevin King's in the audience as well. Congratulations, Kevin. And entertain a motion uh, regarding Brett Weimer, his appointment to the Planning Commission. So moved. Second. Motion Freeman, second Fotovich, that we appoint Brett Limer to serve the remainder of Greg Godwin's term to the Planning Commission. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 
All those opposed? Motion carries. Uh, would entertain a motion to appoint Jennifer Gilmore. So moved. Second. <laughs> motion shoot. Second. Harrison, that uh, we appoint Jennifer Gilmore to serve the remainder of Raymond Manley's term. To the Planning Commission, all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. Thank you for coming, you all. Uh, new business item number three. Consider authorizing the city administrator to execute easements with Johnson County Wastewater for construction of sewers at Gardner Lake. Uh, uh, we've got Brian. Thank you, Brian. Good evening. Good evening. Um, basically out of Gardner Lake, uh, the, the homes out there are currently on septic or on holding tanks, um, in best case. Uh, the Johnson County has come in and, and worked with the city to install actually sanitary sewer mains in the area. And so we as a city, as a property owner out there, needed to provide a blanket easement to allow them to do that. As it says in the report, once the line is installed, those will be redescribed to actually coincide with the actual location of the line. So, okay. Just asking for authorization for the city administrator to execute the blanket easements. All right. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make public comment on new business item number three? <coughs> Council have any questions for Brian? And this is the. Uh, this is the uh, easements that have been we've been negotiating with with landowners out at uh, Gardner Lake, homeowners no. at Gardner Lake. Mm -hmm. actually, actually, no. This is actually city property. This is city property. That's correct. Okay. Any other questions? Would entertain a motion. I move that we authorize the city administrator to execute blanket easements for construction of sewers at Gardner Lake. Second. Motion Freeman, second Harrison, that we authorize the city administrator. To execute blanket easement for construction of sewers. Sewers at Gardner Lake. All those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. New business item number four. Consider authorizing the city administrator to execute a contract with utility services company for painting the interior of the 183rd Street water tower. Brian, you're still there. Um, as it states in the council action form, it's uh, it's been about 17 years uh, since this was painted on the inside, and it's it's due currently, and uh, we're requesting uh, authorize, authorizing the city administrator to sign a contract with utility services uh, in the amount of 87.5 for that work. Okay. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to make public comment about new business item number four? Questions from council, right? Um, obviously, when we see bids like this, was there any indication to, to say why one was so much less of a bid compared to the others? No, it's it's pretty well defined uh, okay. in the bid specs of what they needed to do. Um, Utility Service Corp has been around for a long time. Okay. They do this a lot. And have yeah. you worked with them in the past? Yeah, actually, yes, I have. Fantastic. And you're comfortable? Very much so. Excellent. That all the materials were specified by by you or uh, the, the city staff spec those out. Well, well I mean, yeah, but I mean, in other words, everything's uniform. The expectation Correct. that the materials and the prep work is all the same by. Correct, all three. By, by the RFP. Right, all three, all three bidders would have bid like materials. Okay. I, I was concerned about that too, just because mm -hmm. it seems like recently we've had some where we've got a bid and then they come back and say, oh, by the way, we need this, work by order, the way, we need order, this. And so I was concerned also on this one and the next one why it was so much lower. I mean, I like that it's lower, don't get me wrong, but I was worried there's something missing maybe. But if you've checked everything. And right, like I said, that, we've had real good experience in, okay. in the past with Utility Service Corp. Yeah, and, and, and painting the inside of a water tower a little different than digging into the right. ground and hitting rock. Well, yeah, we're not going to have a rock bed in exactly. the water tower, <laughs> thankfully. So, thank you, Brian. Um, I'd entertain a motion on new business item number four. I move we authorize the city administrator to execute the 2013 water, to water tower interior painting contract with the utility services company in an amount not to exceed $87,500. Second. Motion. 